Hello Star Citizens, welcome to the Trading Guide Part 2. Some viewers ask if you could also make money with a smaller ship. And my answer is yes you can. So for this guide I will only use my Constellation Taurus with a capacity of 174 SCU. Let's see how much space money we can earn. I've tried a couple of runs and here are the best 4 runs I could make. First we will see two illegal runs and then we will see two legal runs. First location is Necropolis on planet Microtech. As usual with illegal trades, this is not a safe zone, so guns out. You also see that I may have a little crime stat issue from the run I had before where I accidentally landed on another player's ship. Sorry mate. Seems like our lucky day. We can buy 31 SCU of Widow and 27 SCU Etam. Now we need a place where we can sell our illegal cargo. So I go to Delvin's Scrap and Salvage on the planet Euterpe. So the profit of our first run is 131,000 Alpha UEC, and you see it doesn't make any difference what size your ship has. Having a Hercules Starlifter or a Caterpillar wouldn't have helped you here. For these trades I even prefer smaller ships, such as the Mercury Star Runner, Cutlass Black or C1. I'm already on my way to the second location, which is Outpost 54, again on Planet Microtech. This time I will use a little trick. First I buy as much as I can of the most valuable goods, especially Widow, and then I will do some server hopping. So I return to my ship, log out in the bed, and select a different location to log back in. After that I will fill the rest of my cargo hold with whatever I can get. Yeah, I hope for more, but anyway, let's get what we can.
And with the mix of all the goods I could buy in Outpost 54, we come to a profit of 144,000 Alpha UEC. Not bad for a medium-sized ship, but can we do better? Yes, we can. Next location is Shubim Mining SMO18 on planet Microtech, where we try to buy some gold. I knew that I had to interrupt my gaming session for a while now, so again I used the logging out in bed, and later that evening when I continued the session, I was able to buy more gold at the same location. With this I was able to fill all 174 SCU of cargo with gold. selling legal goods we can use the TDD on Microtech. And I'm sure you're all aware of it, but for the new players we don't need to land at the airport here. On the right hand side you see the three towers with red, red flashing lights on top of them. That is the airport. Just follow the train lines to where this cluster of round buildings is. This is where you will find the planetary surface entrance to the commons. So a full trade of gold brought us a profit of 265,000 Alpha UEC. Now we're talking, but can we beat that? Yes, we can. Note that I did another trade run in between, where I bought Beryl and Agrisium from Shubin Mining Facility number 8 on Microtech. I decided not to record this trading run, because it brought a profit of only 50,000 Alpha UEC. You find the numbers here on the screen if you're interested. But let's continue with everybody's favorite run currently, the Rubble Run, where we buy RMC and transport it back to Lawville. Note that Rubble is not a safe zone, so you may encounter pirates here. Better be quick and have a gun with you. The upfront investment is 1.9 million Alpha UEC. Again, this is a bit risky, but if you make it back safely, then the profits will make up for that. I've done this run a couple of times in the last recent days, and I never had any issues. There you see the boxes beautifully stacked up in the cargo hold. Nice. Thank 
And I can end this video with another profit of 428,000 alpha UEC. Not bad. If you liked that video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot and see you in the verse.